Have you ever wondered about the titanic creatures from a bygone era which have somehow held on against the tides of time and still share this world with us? What if I told you some of these ancient life forms continue to thrive, revealing fascinating tales of survival and adaptation? Today, we're embarking on an intriguing journey into the realm of 10 remarkable living fossils, the gigantic ancient creatures that still exist today. From the depths of the ocean to the towering forests, we'll unravel the stories of these enduring inhabitants of Earth. Let's start with a real oddity, the Coelacanth. These bizarre and fascinating creatures were believed to have vanished off the face of the Earth 65 million years ago, around the same time that the dinosaurs said their goodbyes. However, in 1938, the scientific world was taken aback when a live one was pulled up in a fisherman's net off the coast of South Africa. Now that's what I call a surprise. The coelacanth, with its unique lobed fins that move in an oddly limb-like manner, provides us with an understanding of one of the significant steps in evolution. This fish is one of the most critical links in our evolutionary chain, as it's believed to be closely related to the first fish that crawled onto land, eventually evolving into tetrapods, including all amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals, us included. Today, two species of this ancient fish have been discovered, with the second one found off the coast of Indonesia in 1998. So think about it, we're sharing our planet with a living fossil that was swimming in our oceans when dinosaurs were roaming the land. Moving from the deep sea to the world's rivers and estuaries, we come to a creature that's almost as synonymous with the ancient world as the dinosaurs, the crocodile. These living fossils have been lurking in our planet's waterways for about 200 million years, and they've seen a lot of history unfold. From a design standpoint, crocodiles are near perfect creatures. Evolutionary changes over millions of years have honed them into efficient, adaptable predators. They've retained many physical characteristics from their prehistoric ancestors. The protective, bony plates known as osteoderms that line their body, the elongated and powerful jaw, and the muscular tail that propels them in water. Today, there are 23 different species of crocodiles, and they can be found in the Americas, Africa, Asia, and Australia. Crocodiles are a testament to the concept of survival of the fittest. Their impressive hunting skills, acute senses, and adaptability have allowed them to survive changes that led to the extinction of many other species, including their prehistoric contemporaries, the dinosaurs. So every time you look at a crocodile, you're looking at a creature that's a relic of a time long gone, a beast that has stubbornly refused to disappear into the annals of history. Next, we're going to look at a different kind of living ancient being, one that doesn't crawl, swim or fly, the giant sequoia. Unlike our previous entrants on this list, these are silent giants, but their massive scale and age are just as impressive, if not more so. Giant sequoias are the world's largest trees by volume, reaching heights over 275 feet, and their trunks can measure over 25 feet in diameter. These colossal beings are old, incredibly old. They belong to a lineage of trees that extends back to the Jurassic period, around 200 million years ago, when dinosaurs were just beginning to dominate the planet. The oldest living specimens are estimated to be between 2,000 to 3,000 years old. That means some of these trees were already centuries old when the Roman Empire was at its height. Interestingly, these trees are resilient. They have a unique resistance to disease and fire thanks to their tannin-rich bark, which can be up to two feet thick. Moreover, they play a significant role in combating climate change, as they sequester massive amounts of carbon in their long lives. As we grapple with our rapidly changing world, these ancient trees remind us of the importance of resilience, adaptation, and the role each species has in our global ecosystem. From towering trees, we move to an ancient predator that seems to have come straight out of a storybook, the Komodo dragon. The world's largest living lizard, found on the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Gili Motang. These beasts can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh up to 200 pounds, but it's not just their size that takes us back to the age of dinosaurs, it's their appearance too. With their scaly skin, muscular tails and powerful claws, they resemble miniature versions of the iconic Tyrannosaurus rex. These dragons share a common ancestor with monitor lizards that lived around 100 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period when T. rex was also on the prowl. 
What's particularly fascinating about Komodo dragons is their hunting strategy. They have venom glands loaded with toxins that lower blood pressure, cause massive bleeding, prevent clotting, and induce shock in their prey. Once bitten, the prey might escape, but it won't get far. The dragon follows it patiently, waiting for the venom to take effect. Living alongside these real-life dragons is a stark reminder of our planet's ancient history and the extraordinary endurance of life through time, a time when dragons were not just figments of our imagination, but formidable predators that roamed our world. Let's now dive into the deep blue sea and encounter the most massive creature not only alive today, but the largest ever known to have existed, the blue whale. Now, what's astonishing about blue whales is their sheer size. They can grow up to 100 feet long and weigh as much as 200 tons. That's about the length of three school buses put end to end and the weight of 30 elephants. But it's not just their size that makes these creatures ancient. These giants have been swimming our oceans for around 4.5 to 23 million years, harking back to the Miocene epoch. They survived the last great extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs and continued to thrive in our oceans, becoming the largest creatures in Earth's history. Despite their gargantuan size, blue whales feed mainly on tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. During the feeding season, a blue whale can consume up to four tons of krill a day. However, these ocean giants are endangered, with only about 10,000 to 25,000 individuals left. Their tail underscores the delicate balance of our ecosystems and how even the most powerful beings on our planet can be vulnerable. The next creature on our list takes us back to the waters, but in a different setting, the fresh waters of China. The Chinese salamander, the world's largest amphibian, is a remarkable living relic from a bygone era. They can grow up to nearly six feet in length, which is extraordinary for an amphibian. These salamanders are an ancient lineage dating back around 170 million years, possibly even sharing the world with the earliest dinosaurs. In Chinese culture, they are often associated with longevity and transformation. However, their real-life tale is not quite as enchanting. They are critically endangered with their population having declined by over 80% in the last 60 years due to habitat loss, pollution and over-harvesting for food and traditional medicines. Studying these creatures gives scientists a glimpse into Earth's past, and their current plight underscores the urgent need for conservation. Protecting the Chinese salamander and its habitat could ensure that this ancient lineage continues for millions of years to come, providing future generations with a living link to our planet's distant past. From the tranquil shores of New Zealand, we turn our attention to the Tuatara, an intriguing creature that seems straight out of the Mesozoic era. The Tuatara is not a lizard, although it looks like one. It's actually the sole survivor of a lineage that thrived around 200 million years ago. Tuataras can live well over 100 years, and they exhibit some interesting features reminiscent of their ancient past. They have a third eye, a light-sensing pineal gland on the top of their skull that is believed to help regulate their body clock. Juvenile Tuataras also have a pronounced tail crest which resembles the dorsal plates of some dinosaurs. Another notable trait of Tuataras is their slow metabolism. They can go for up to an hour without taking a breath and have been known to survive in temperatures as low as six degrees Celsius. Unfortunately, habitat loss and predation by invasive species have led to their decline and they are now protected by law. Let's now return to the ocean, but this time to the shallow coastal waters where we find the horseshoe crab. This helmet-shaped creature might not be a giant in terms of size, but it's definitely a giant in terms of age. Horseshoe crabs have been around for an astonishing 450 million years, predating even the dinosaurs. Despite their name, horseshoe crabs are not true crabs, but are more closely related to spiders and scorpions. They are famous for their distinctive blue blood, which contains a unique substance called Limulose amebacite lysate, LAL. This substance is used to test the sterility of medical equipment and vaccines, making horseshoe crabs invaluable in the medical industry. Their reproduction process is a sight to behold. Every spring, during the high tides of the new and full moons, thousands of horseshoe crabs swarm the shores to lay their eggs. This spectacle has become a vital feeding ground for migratory birds, demonstrating yet again how interconnected our world truly is. Despite their importance, horseshoe crab populations are under threat due to over-harvesting and habitat loss. Let's go even deeper underwater and uncover a living relic known as the giant lobster. 
specifically the American lobster, Homarus americanus. These creatures are among the largest crustaceans in the world, with some individuals reaching up to 3.5 feet long and weighing as much as 44 pounds. These marine dwellers are known for their long lives, and some individuals have been estimated to be over a century old. They possess an amazing ability to regenerate lost limbs, a trait that has likely contributed to their long lifespan. What makes them more remarkable is the fact that they continue to grow and molt their entire lives. The American lobster has a formidable pair of claws, each adapted for a specific function. One is larger and more robust for crushing, while the other is smaller and sharper for cutting. Unfortunately, overfishing has caused significant declines in the lobster population, affecting not only the species but also the economies of coastal communities that rely on the lobster fishery. Finally, we delve into the frigid waters of the Arctic and North Atlantic to meet the mysterious Greenland shark. These are among the largest shark species, rivaling the great white in size, but it's their longevity that really captures the imagination. Greenland sharks are thought to be some of the oldest living vertebrates on Earth, with one individual estimated to be at least 272 years old, potentially reaching up to 500 years old. These sharks are not fast swimmers due to their cold environment, but they are efficient hunters. They are known to eat seals, fish and even other sharks. Remarkably, they are also scavengers willing to feast on carrion. What's even more interesting is their symbiotic relationship with a certain species of copepod, a tiny crustacean. These copepods attach to the shark's eyes, leading to partial blindness, but also emitting a bioluminescent glow which is believed to lure prey. Due to their extreme lifespan and slow reproduction rate, the Greenland shark is particularly vulnerable to threats like climate change and fishing activities. Their unique biology and environment make them a fascinating subject of study for scientists seeking to understand the effects of long-term climate change on marine ecosystems. So, as we step back and gaze at the tapestry of life, it's astounding to realize that some threads have stretched from the distant past right into the present, manifesting as these awe-inspiring ancient giants. Each creature we've explored today is not only a marvel in its own right, but also a living testimony to life's extraordinary resilience and adaptability. While we marvel at their survival over millions of years, their continued existence in our rapidly changing world remains uncertain. It reminds us of our responsibility to preserve and to protect these unique threads of life, so future generations can also marvel at these living connections to Earth's ancient past. And as always, thanks for watching.